All right, so, um, Donald. <laughs> this is for like that 100 year thing and it comes with like a bunch of them. Anyways, Donald, uh, Donald and Goofy, I wonder why are some of my favorites. Uh, <laughs> I just need a sort, I, I have a few Sora figures and put them now. I have Donald and Goofy to stand next to them. But, uh, it's funny, like, like, oh, shit, 80, like, where, the time that I grew up, because I was born in 94, so I grew up at a point where I had the reruns of 80s cartoons, and then also, um, like, obviously, like, the 90s, like, epic, like, quack pack stuff, and then also, then, as I grew older, there's obviously the newer cartoons that came out, and there's just me now, who just likes watching cartoons in general, so, that being said, um, <laughs> like, I grew up with, like, uh, Quack Pack, uh, some, like, reruns of the original DuckTales. Not like I really remember much. There is one thing I do remember, though, from, from there. And I remember, because I'm watching this show. I'm going to watch this in a minute. But there's something that I really remember. Though. And I'm like, I'm going to try to review, like, all the favorite scenes. I was going to do, like, a big mega, like, oh, yeah, review all the scenes. You review, review the entire series in one go, but I'm like, ah, I, honestly, I kind of think I just at least doing it by season would probably be better. But, um, mostly because also that's a shit ton of stuff, and if I can't get it done by the end of October, which I think I probably could, but still. Um, one thing I do remember from the DuckTales show, which is really funny, because I pretty much don't remember most, if not anything, of the original DuckTales show. Like, if I, I probably remember, like, the, the theme song, and... Maybe if I watched it, like it, some stuff would come back to me. But most, there's a few things I I vaguely remember. One, I remember that launch pad uh, was first in Ducktales, and then moved over to Darkwing Duck. And Darkwing Duck, I love that show. I probably remember way more than I do the original Ducktales. And I remember Gizmo. Gizmo Duck was like one of those first characters that I really, really liked. I like tried to draw. And I kind of, if I remember correctly, I'd probably if I look back at those drawings, if I ever found them, they'd probably be like just awful. But um, I remember like that was the one I'm like, oh, it kind of looks like. I'm like, oh my god, it's Gizmo Duck. Like, I loved Gizmo Duck. Gizmo Duck was the coolest. And the funny thing is, like, watching the, uh, watching, uh, this season and like the introduction of Gizmo Duck and Stuff like, uh, that's not even like, like I, I kind of went back for like where I last left off with DuckTales because I started reviewing the episodes when they first started airing and then I kind of just dropped off of the show. I think with uh, Mr. Styro asking me, like, hey, do you want to do it for Halloween? I'm like, yeah, sure, why not? And, uh, <laughs> which I guess Monsters is the Halloween theme of this one, I guess. I don't know, but, uh, this one, like, like the Gizmo Duck in this is so damn good. Also, it's funny that he's he's Hispanic, and then also like his mom's like a fiery cop detective. And honestly, I kind of want a Gizmo Duck spinoff, or like, uh, if they, I, I, th I can't remember if like it's happening or if it's in production hell or whatever. That I think they always knew that like, oh yeah, there's gonna be a uh, a Darkwing Duck reboot or a continuation of like the DuckTales spinoff or something. And honestly, like, do that. Bring back Launchpad from from this, but then uh, assuming Launchpad doesn't die at some point, but bring Launchpad back in for this, but then also bring Gizmo Duck with there. And I think well as a coast warning cast character as well, because I think Gizmo Duck does appear in Darkwing Duck also. But yeah, but yeah, also um, there's a. One thing too is like I again I grew up where the reruns of those eighty shows kind of popped up, and I'll, I'll get more to it. Let me just watch this real quick, then. Okay. Huh. Also, thing that sucks about watching the show now is like all the merch has kind of stopped selling, so now I gotta like check eBay and shit for that. I want to get the money bin as well as obviously the figures of the characters. How old are you is such a good question <laughs> because I, there's a running joke where they talk about like, oh yeah, back during the gold rush, how old are you? And then like, like, 
like there's points where you see all these different time periods and then eventually like there's even a point which really threw me off where when they go to mcduck manor which is like a big ass castle for clan mcduck and they're like he's like mommy daddy and his parents are alive and they're like your parents are alive and i'm like that's what i'm saying and then it turns out like the dad goes yeah he cursed us he's like I, you drew in stones to rebuild the castle and it may have granted you immortality. Would you rather have let you die? He's like, neither. It's like, what the hell, man? It used to be a big deal. Whatever happened to you? Oh, wait, what did that say? McDuck hangs up his spats after. It used to be a big deal. I'm Scrooge McDuck. I made my name being tougher than the toughies and smarter than the smarties. Sure, you want to do it the easy way. Oh my god, nephews! <laughs> what are your blood types? What's Donald really like? Who's the evil triplet? Louie. Eh. <laughs> We're just a normal, boring family. Normal? Boring? <laughs> Donald Duck is one of the most daring adventurers of all time! He hangs around with the, he hangs around with this kid with a giant key, refuses to heal him. But also is one of the greatest magic users of all time, able to use a magic spell that the god, the god of dragons, can't even use, and is only used by I think two to three people in all of Final Fantasy. Donald Duck's a badass, <laughs> mind you. Um, King Mickey also is uh, pretty great too. <laughs> Oh god. But anyways, this is going. I run a multi trillion dollar business. Oh god, that money bin. I want to bring that up. Juveniles for the weekend. Besides, we've got a pretty low key day planned. Tell Woo! Every day we're out there making duck tails. Woo! Atlantis and a duck upside down. I just saw that. Hold on, God, I probably should have rewatched the first few episodes too, huh? Uh, I kind of just keep where I love, love, not really remembering too much. I probably should have. You guys, our oh. family is awesome. Aw, oh, family truly is the greatest adventure of all. Launch pad. God, but no, yeah, like I actually really love like. Because, like, obviously the main, the, the main quote-unquote mystery of this show is what happened to Huey, Dewey, and Louie's parents. Like, we don't, we don't know what happened to them. They, or her, or the mom, she just disappeared. We don't know why Scrooge and Donald separated ways since then. And, you know, Scrooge hung up everything. And, like... The thing is, you like even like this, the money bin, where like you have all the money. And you're like, oh my god, that's so much money! By God, I did not expect the emotional punch that I would get when I find when you find out what happens to Dallas. Because spoilers for that sh for this show that's already been out for years and it's finished already. But spoilers, go watch it. But like, because obviously that's the big whole thing, and the whole thing is that everyone like teaming together and pretty much like it's episodic adventures but it's all about you know the family kind of growing together or trying to learn dewey who i did not know at the time and this is the wrong sonic but is voiced by sonic the goddamn hedgehog <laughs> which i'm listening to him like shit this isn't the first time he played a blue a young blue blue kid who is trying to find his family i like love that so much i was like oh shit I'm like, it's Sonic! <laughs> it's honestly... Nothing against... I uh, Is it... Nothing against, like, the, the, the voice actor for Sonic now. And I gotta play Sonic for this, which I plan to play once um, I'm situated in my new setup and everything. Um, once I play Sonic Frontiers, I want to see... Because, obviously, he has the, the more modern Sonic voice in the games. I want to see how it is. Maybe it's just the writing... But at least me personally, I is his. I've gotten used to it, but his voice still not isn't as iconic as the original, as like Ed Sonic Adventure voice actors and stuff. Is it that Jason Griffith? Um, 
I can't remember. I can't remember the names, but I just remember the voices. Like that voice actor is still Sonic in my head, but still, like I've gotten used to the new one. Honestly, if you get the voice of Dewey and the voice of movie Sonic as a new video game Sonic voice, I honestly probably I could see that working extremely well. Yeah, actually, even like the voice in um Sonic Prime actually would actually be pretty good. But uh Yeah, like so yeah, Sonic <laughs> but yeah. Um that voice but no, like uh the, the whole big thing is like, you know, what happened to Della Duck? And then like Della saying she took the spear of Celine. And it's like, what it's like, oh shit. Like she took the spear of Celine, like some kind of ancient weapon or something like that. And then when they actually meet the Greek god Celine and who's the goddess of the moon. Oh god, I just remember something. It's kind of stupid now. But like the goddess of the moon, it's the question of like, oh my god, like what is this Rosaline? And later on we find out after a whole bunch of things and the breakup and everything like that, that uh the Spear Celine was actually a spaceship, which I'm like, oh, so is this how she means because I kind of know what happens a little in like later seasons. But like, oh, is that when she meets this? Like, whatever. I'm like, oh, okay. And Scrooge like you know like the kids are blaming like you built our mom a spaceship to go into space and he's like well like yeah but I like it was supposed to be after you were born and all that it was like no like and like they get mad at him and you know Scrooge kind of like backs like you know puffs his chest and it just makes things worse but and like they like like Scrooge says I spared no expense trying to find her and they're like, no, but that's bullshit, pretty much. They're like, no, you have had like once it started putting a little dent in your your money bin, you you uh gave up. And then when you find out, no, no. All of these riches that he has was all the way up to like here beforehand. Before he started searching for Della again. Because Della flies off into space because she's like, I gonna show my boy space and i'm gonna take this because adventure and flies into space which honestly that's who they probably should be mad at because she's like why did you do that but she flew into space cosmic storm she disappeared screws better no expense had a bunch of other spaceships sent everywhere and all and all i'm thinking right now is because spoilers for the end like we do eventually find out where della is I'll bring that. And no, I want to talk about it now. She's on the goddamn moon. She's on the goddamn moon. Crash on the moon. And all I'm thinking is, out of all of these spaceships that you shot out into space, all of the thou millions of money, because there was like shit ton of gold, and like, you, like you see, like as the money dwindles, and like, like the big expense that Scrooge did and all this stuff. All of this money you burned, and no one thought, the moon! Check the moon! Or, or even she's the friend with the goddess of the moon. Did the goddess of the moon ever not go, shit, maybe I should check on my, like, my planetary body or whatever that's kind of surrounding the earth? For shit, like, or maybe I can go up this way and look around for something. I don't know, something? Like, would, would you not have, would, I believe the god of the moon, I believe Khonshu would be like, shit, someone just landed on my moon. Man, I should have switched this to my Khonshu shirt. But, god, like, <laughs> she was on the moon the entire goddamn time. Why didn't nobody check the moon? <laughs> But whatever, fine. <laughs> God damn it. Also, there's another plot story where um, Webby, which I kind of know a little bit of what's going to happen with her, I think. Webby makes friends with Lena, who is apparently the uh, niece of her aunt, Magic Dispella, which I know, I believe was a, cla it was a, a character from the original uh, show as well. Who is like more of a magic user and all this stuff, and pretty much is a enemy of Scrooge. Who throughout the series is trying to get Scrooge's luck number one dime, which I'm like, 
Why do they want the dime so badly? Especially when we find out the origins of the dime. It's like, why do they want it so badly? But then we find out that, uh, she, spoilers again, she's like trapped in it. But also I do like that it's kind of hinted at like this whole idea of the dime is important because even the opening, uh, intro, uh, like the, the whole episode literally starts off with the 10 cent dime, which will be like the dime that Scrooge first earned, which turns out like he actually earned it from his dad having a, a grave digger, like muddy his boots and giving him the dime to then give to his son. And I'm like, oh, that's cute. And like, even so with like his parents is kind of sweet. I like that. And it's like, kind of funny when Webby like finally breaks out of her happy coma and then, like, uh, has to not wait five years to go visit her, I think, technically, her grandparents or something. But, uh, yeah, so. Also, just reason. And also, like, again, the whole thing, idea I keep bringing up the reruns is because um, this show is 100% also, like, a love note to, like, a lot of those cartoons that came out during that time of. DuckTales, stuff like that, where I kind of already brought up, like, Launchpad went from uh, DuckTales to uh, Darkwing Duck. Not only is Darkwing Duck, like, uh, Launchpad's favorite show, and also go every... He has a little bobblehead of Darkwing that he always saw. He's like, what do we do, DW? Hits it. Let's get dangerous. Like, I love that shit. Um... Like, that was going on, which I think there's more with DW that we're going to see later, which, hell yes, because I love Darkwing. Um, you, then you have stuff with, uh, what's his name? Then you have stuff with, uh, like, other little references. Like, at one point, there's a bad guy called The Claw, which is, you know, a whole homage to James Bond and stuff. Uh, how Scrooge and uh, the maid slash muscle... Uh, who's, I'm pretty sure, like, 99% muscle. Uh, she, like, how they met, but then also, like, the villain is so using an ancient book of magic found from a book of alchemy that was given to them by magical bears in the forest who would drink magic elixirs to bounce around. Like, God damn it, it's gummy bears. <laughs> it was, it was, there was two shows at that point. There was, like, two, there was bears. I believe it was gummy bears. Um... Who had their own show? I'm just like, God damn it! <laughs> oh, like, that's great. Or there's even smaller things where you, or like, like, and like the whole idea that there's like a connection between all these different shows. Because then you also have, uh, was it Cape? What was it called? Cape. The Maltese MacGuffin's great. Shit, I wrote it down. I wrote a lot of, like, notes down. I can't find this one now. Uh, it was a like Cape Menard or something like that. Like, I don't know. It was Cape something, which is pretty much the, uh, wait, no, not pretty much. It is the, oh, Cape Suzette. Which is the tailspin place where, like, you have all the different animals that live there. You even see the tailspin plane on the front. I'm like, oh shit! And then uh, you even have uh, smaller references, like at one point the Beagle Boy's breaking. Which I'm not sure which the side Beagle Boy was dressed because they all had duck masks. But the one Beagle Boy turned around, had a hockey stick in his mask, and had a hockey duck hockey mask. I'm like, oh shit! It's freaking up! It's freaking up! Uh, uh, shit! Why can't I have mighty ducks? Which I cannot tell you the disappointment I had as a child coming off of the cartoon Mighty Ducks and watch and then finding out there's a movie of Mighty Ducks and it has nothing to do with like ducks that came from like another universe or world or something coming to Earth and like fighting villainy and shit. It's like, really? I still have the figures of that. Like, that's the thing. I remember the Mighty Ducks more than I remember the Tailspin. But, uh... Except Gizmo Duck. I remember Gizmo Duck. Gizmo Duck is great. But uh yeah, like, for, and also like even like Stalger I brought up for some reason, like late 90s, early 2000s really wanted to push duck characters for some reason. I don't know, maybe it's just they're easy to draw or maybe I don't know. But um but yeah, so 
ducks. But yeah, like, it's, it, this show is such a love letter to all those scenes. Also, it's kind of, and like, Don Carnage, who is from Tailspin, pops up in this. I will say, though, like, I like his dying better in Tailspin, because he's more angular and more like, I don't know, he looks supposed to look more menacing. He gotta look more, like, rounded out. But even then, like, he still didn't look that bad. So he took the hat off his damn head. Ugh, when they took out the hat off his damn head, I'm like, okay, he looks a lot better. But, uh... Yeah, these guys were great. Like, this show is such a love letter to all those things. And I know, I know, like, there's a, there's a reference to a very big show in the finale of, uh, t- of, of this, sh- of DuckTales. So that's gonna be fun to see. But, yeah, this is great. I love all the monster designs. I like a lot of the character designs. Again, except for maybe Don Carnage. But it's cool seeing that. And, like, it wouldn't surprise me if in season two we see Baloo pop up. It wouldn't surprise me. You know, I want to see, uh, I want to see Darkwing proper pop up. And I want there to, to be a Darkwing Duck show. Like, I think they could 100% do that. Like, have Darkwing, have what, have a, I can't remember her name, but his adopted daughter. Um, I always have Launchpad come back in. Cause they, if they're gonna do a Darkwing Duck show, they have to bring Launchpad back from tail, from, uh, DuckTales. Like, they got to. Like, they, they 100% got to. Like, they have to continue that whole thing, I think. Um, and, yeah, like, honestly, like, this is a, honestly, a, oh, shit, sorry, Donald. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Donald's a great, uh, the character, Zion's a great, um, but, Yeah, like, I want to get the figures of these guys. Like, the little figures that are kind of like this one. Um, the show is honestly really good. And, the, the honestly, the designs are really good. Like, the comic book-esque look to a lot of things. Uh, even, like, the CGI used for some things is really good. Like, this sub, if I'm correct, is CGI. This is CGI, but they make it stylized enough to where it's, you know, it mashes with everything. A lot of the... And like even though, yeah, I'm pretty sure these things are CGI too. These seagulls. Um, the action is good. Like the the animation is honestly really great. Um, and I legitimately want to see what where the story goes with this. And yeah, it's kind of a thing where I'm like, man, it does kind of suck that I got him just coming into this so late. But again, there's like the emotional hit. That you get seeing like all of this money that Scrooge has is literally like only a, is a, a small percentage of what he originally had that he spent all on trying to save and find Della. But no dumbass ever thought go to goddamn space. Um, also, it's funny. It's worth the finale where like they gave Donald like a pill so he could talk regularly. And it's like, what? And it's like. Ducks never back down. It's like, we've only heard that five miles and hey! Um, or Donald Duck, like, like uh, I can't remember the, the maid's name, but she goes, like, be careful for the storm. And Donald goes, I am the storm. It's like, Jesus Christ, Donald, really? Is this the shit you were saying when you were like, uh, <laughs> and there's some also, like, really, like, dark things like when Lena like Lena's aunt comes out of her eyes and shit and, or like Lena gets sucked into the a uh, portal or gets sucked into like her shadow um of her aunt or the point where it's like an illusion but we don't know it's an illusion at the time where Lena sees her worst fear which is her aunt like breaking free and then turns Webby into a season one version of her of her but like as a as a plushie, and then that plushie gets just completely evaporated and destroyed and leaves there. Oh my god, I just killed my friend. Like, it is it is like, I was like, oh my god, they killed Webby. And then it just pulls there. I'm like, Lena, are you okay? It's just like a memory thing. I'm like, oh my god, I hate you. Because I legitimately thought Webby was dead for a second. Like, god. The writing is so good. That's why I really love all, like, modern cartoons, which also screw you for everyone who says, like, old cartoons were, cartoons were better back in the day. Depends on what you mean. I feel like nowadays is more of a golden age of animation with uh, 
able to have simple characters with like episodic adventures, but have a much bigger story than it just being an episodic. Like, MNA was great. It's not like you're going to look at that show and be like, oh yeah, but the story is really where it, like, it sets in. It's like, no. But you look at 2017 DuckTales and you're like, the episodes are great and the story is freaking phenomenal. Like, they ha- they're able to have the adventure while also still having um, the episodicness and that's kind of great. And again, stuff like Adventure Time and all that stuff I- I'd say are... Adventure Time is definitely like the main, I think, catalyst that started that, I want to say. Um, but yeah, also Scrooge, like, I love how they also bring up stuff like I brought up Scrooge being kind of immortal. Like, he's a hundred, he's born in 1867, which is probably when he actually was, I don't know, but uh, he's 150 years old. And it, and throughout the show, it does give reasons on why these characters are alive that long. Like, like Scrooge got stuck in a demon dimension, ageless demon dimension at one point. One of his lovers, Goldie. Uh, like, found a fountain of youth at one point, but then also, like, also, Goldie was actually a great character, too. That's a toxic as hell relationship, it kind of seems like, but, uh, Goldie was kind of an, uh, the dime being held with a quad dimanium cord to protect it from, like, getting stolen. Um, I could go on about a shit ton of different things I have here, because I have stuff, the butt bouncing with the, the, the berry drink is kind of funny. Dark wing duck. Could I invent the element so heavy even I couldn't lift it? Gyro says, basically Gyro saying that he's God or thinks he's God. I'm um, trying to use a logic puzzle because the whole, you know, logic puzzle is like, if God, could God create something that, could God create something that was so heavy that even he couldn't lift it? Which I would say, yes, God could. Because, and it's not like if God couldn't lift it, it doesn't mean he's all powerful. Yes, because in a way you can see that everyone is a fragment of said being of that is God, and so technically he could create a being that is weaker, that is itself technically a part of him, that couldn't lift the stone where he himself could still lift the stone. And it's a whole thing. Ah, anyways. Uh, she left him frozen in the glacier. Oh yeah, Goldie left him frozen in the glacier. Oh my, oh shit. Then Goldie also looked like she almost died, like falling into molten gold. I'm like, oh Jesus. Also, all the molten gold seemed like it sucked up like very quickly, which I'm like, I feel like there should have been like a lot more like gold down there. So if it's molten, like where is that gold coming from? Uh, Webby trying to use magic of friendship. And it works. It brings Lena back and then merges Lena with her shadow. Which I want to see how that's going to play out. The bounce here and there and everywhere. <laughs> oh yeah, the recipe to, to for the screw day. I have the recipe of the six handful of red berries, four orange berries, three purple berries, four blue berries, three green berries, and one yellow berry in that order. Webby almost brings up her last name, which I'm pretty sure is McQuack or McDuck. I mean, I'm pretty sure it's McDuck. I think she's, I can't remember. I'll, I'll get it at some point. Guy is safe, had a parachute. Oh yeah, when Don Carn- Carnage is knocked to do that of the the plane to try to kill him. I want a Gizmo Duck spinoff. Yes, Gizmo Duck is still my fave. Yeah, I, I still love Gizmo. And honestly, out of a lot of like mech suits, Gizmo Ducks actually kind of make sense. Like, his legs obviously don't go into the wheel thing, but, like, the main body part is probably what connects his, hides his, his legs. His arms are probably, you know, still, like, in the kind of thing, but, you know, arm, whatever. Actually makes sense, but if you look at something like, like, uh, the Space Marines or, uh, Samus Aaron from, like, Metroid, you look at how their suits are, and you're like, nah, that suit don't make much sense, like, how the person is. Except, like, uh, Metroid, like, has arms like that, which, honestly, I love the idea, like, her arms are like this, but there's buttons, but then you actually see x-ray version where you see her hands in the gun so i don't know also i love at one point where they where the episode where they're supposed to break where they where the the family kind of breaks up there's a lot of cool things like one one i love that they're going after the maltese and mcguffin because and they're like what is it stuff of dreams but what is it it's a mcguffin doesn't matter um the maid holding up 974 days of vacation and also stuff like when Dewey throwing himself in danger and Scrooge is I I'm not letting anything happen to her or I'm trying to save your life. Come back or I will end your young man. But like, no, not again. Like you see that Scrooge, like stuff with Della is weighing heavy on him. And yeah, this is great. A swift kick to the ribs. 
ooh, look, children, Magicka dispel a set, which I'm like, ooh. I am the storm, good friend or work acquaintance. Which, at one point, like, uh, Dispella says, like, when he grabs uh, the scientist and goes, so, like, is he a good friend or a work acquaintance? And, like, one for that, two for that. Because Scrooge is stuck in the dime. And Scrooge blinks twice and pretty much saves the G- Gyro. And I'm like, yeah, it's probably best. Like, he probably saved your life saying that, but... Um... Yeah, this show is honestly, uh, this show is honestly really great. And Webby is honestly really funny. I re- Webby's really funny and, like, it's cool seeing, like, them, like, her slowly being coming part of the family, too. Which I think, she, like, uh, like, you know, Scrooge going, you know, call me Uncle Scrooge. Like, stuff like that is honestly really cool, cute. Um... And, like, seeing, like, you know, the boys get along with Scrooge and just all the different, like, references and connections to that. This show is great. I highly recommend it. If you haven't already watched it, go check it out. It's already done. Um, but, yeah. Donald is great. <laughs> uh, Donald's great. And uh, the boys are great. I want to get the... See if I can find those figures now. But thank you for watching. Sure if it is that um, links are Facebook or this or Happy Halloween again. I guess this is for monsters and more adventures. Though. I don't know. I don't know. It is a loose Halloween connection theme. Maybe I don't know. Thanks for watching. We will see you later. <laughs>